from the colonel. Dear Master Cormac, my apologies for the brevity of this missive, but it is time we were honest with one another. You have demonstrated your loyalty and resourcefulness to the Templar cause. And this despite, and perhaps because of, your assassin origins. The manuscript the assassin sought has been in my possession for some time. I reclaimed it when my men found you marooned. The Grand Master himself charged me to discover its meaning, a task I regret I have failed to complete. I leave it in your charge, Master Cormac. There is no one else I trust more. Now I leave for Fort William Henry, an ill-prepared garrison surrounded by hostile natives and the French army. We have requested reinforcements, but I doubt they will be forthcoming. I have no illusions that our resistance will be successful. I commit my life to the British Army and my soul to the Father of Understanding. Yours, Colonel George Monroe. Mind your post, guest. The Colonel's in trouble. How do you mean, in trouble? He's at Fort William Henry, facing impossible odds. Get off your lazy asses, lads, and man your stations! We raise anchor! Sorry for the early libation, Captain. But do you realize that it's been a whole year since we met? <laughs> a whole year! Changed my life, you did. And for the better. <laughs> You will, uh, forgive me if I have been, uh, celebrating without you. A whole year. Yes, I have a question for you. How long have you known of my, well, former allegiance? Oh, you mean the assassins? I knew that ages ago, Shay. I may be drunk, but I'm not blind. Or did you think I would assume you had escaped from some homicidal circus? Why didn't you say anything? Well, the Colonel wanted us to avoid the subject so it wouldn't, you know, influence your decision-making. You saved my life out of pure selfless instinct, and helped countless others besides. If it were up to me, I would have made you an official Templar months ago. Who is it up to, then? Monroe mentioned the Grand Master. Oh, yes. The Grand Master of the Colonial Rite. You'd like him, Shay. His father was an assassin. Really? He must have a story to tell. What is the news from Fort William Henry? The garrison is surrounded, and reinforcements are late. General Montcalm has been blazing a path across the colonies for King Louis, hasn't he? I rather wish he'd stayed home with his mistress. His or King Louis's? Either. Though I suspect the King's is finer. Indeed. Madame O'Murphy is supposed to be quite the charmer. I know Murphy is in the French King's bed. Now I know you're pulling my leg. You are a sight for sore eyes. Jack? Colonel Monroe surrendered to General Montcalm. The French and their Abenaki allies took Fort Henry. Johnson was supposed to bring reinforcements here. I don't see anyone else. The Abenaki are restless. They don't understand the terms of surrender and refuse to heed Montcalm. The Colonel and his men were released this morning. They're walking into an ambush. Wait here in case Johnson arrives. I'll... I'll protect the Colonel. Thank you. Maybe I can finally repay my debt to him.
I hope I'm not too late. Segawase will not relent. Kasegawase. You know this man, Master Cormac. Aye, Colonel. He is one of Achilles' men. An assassin, as I was. So they know I am a Templar. And now this assassin knows you live. And work with Templars. I'm no fool, Colonel. The assassins will come after me next. We're both targets now. You know that's a trap, right? Indeed, Master Cormac. But we have little choice. We survived French cannons, we will survive this. Captain Men, let's get out of here! Move! Move! Chase! Ah! 
I owe you my life, Master Cormac. As do I, Colonel. We have much to discuss. However, I must tend to my troops. Sir, I will accompany you to Johnson's trading post at Onokwaga. Then I shall depart at once. Master Cormac, meet me there. So, Colonel, it seems my life has an open book to you. Men from my regiment found you delirious and half-drowned. I did not know who you were. But what you were was obvious. I brought you to the Finnegans for care. Their late son was one of our order. Master Johnson was furious. It was a risk. But I suspected you might have left your brothers behind. Colonel, the manuscript... Why return it to me? Because, Master Cormac, you earned my trust. It could not be in better hands. Respectfully, sir, I'm more of a target than you now. Gentlemen, Kisigawase is rallying to storm Albany. His allies threaten a friendly Oneida village, and French troops have already entered our territory. Might be able to delay the French and help the Oneida. We will ready the defenses in Albany. If we are to defeat Kasegawase and his allies, I need to help the Oneida and see what I can do about the French. Johnson stockpiled powder and shot here. Bless him. <laughs> Captain Helm, sir! So, well, not to pry, but would you happen to know if Kesegawase has any weaknesses? He hasn't any. He was a scout and mercenary long before he joined the assassins. May Lady Luck be with you, then. I make my own luck. The Colonel exerts a certain amount of control over the army, or part of it anyway. But we'll need both the soldiers and their native allies if we're to set up a proper defense against Kesegawase. Kesegawase has allies in every tribe that sided with the French, as well as many others. Trappers, hunters, scouts. We'll need all the help we can muster. Trim us off the wind! Anchor away! What's in the cave?
Stay alert, men. How do I get into that cave? Oh, my thanks indeed, good sir. Teach you my most humble heartfelt thanks, sir. Thank you. I need it, sir. Let me guess. You didn't see who killed me. Venerable one, my name is Shay Patrick Cormick. I, I am a friend. A friend indeed. You have the gratitude of my people, Shay Patrick Cormick. For as long as you shall walk this earth, you will have a place here among us. My thanks. It is I who thank you, young man. Would you be so kind as to walk with me? I am called Onata. There is a legend among my people. It tells of how the land under our feet was born and how good and evil came into this world. The Sky Woman scattered her wisdom throughout our land. If you follow her path, you shall learn the true history of our people, and perhaps even uncover the reward locked within this cave. If you are the hero I believe you to be... You honor me, Venerable One. It is you who honor us, Shea Patrick Cormac. Farewell. Catch some wood! Spin those sheets! Not much! Full sails! Ready for grief in all tops! Grief! 
shirt, no save. We need to win this battle and move on. We're on board of this hellish landscape. We need to win this battle and move on. Damn the devil! What happened here? Kisigawase. Well, then we are too late. No. Fort Fredericks is nearby. I'm sure the Colonel can hold it. You heard the Captain, lads! Make haste! Mates out! Let's go!
This is Kasegawasi's work, isn't it? I believe it is, but I've not yet seen the devil. The manuscript. You keep it safe. Bring it to the Morrigan. That's an order. Who are you to give me orders? I outrank you. I'm not part of your army, Colonel. I'll take care of the defenses until you get back. Are you sick of what? It didn't have to be this way. It did. You are an enemy. Achilles will see you dead. What he's doing is wrong. Who are you to touch? The Templars will fail. You will fail. Monroe is already dead. What do you mean? Liam. The colonel was heading for the docks. A huge man with an axe was chasing the colonel. The manuscript. An assassin took it. Liam, I'll get it back. I swear it. Shay. Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order? And all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets, nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost? I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. You 
are now a Templar, harbinger of a new world. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the, May the Father, Father of, of Understanding, understanding guide, guide us. us. Do you understand now? I'm starting to see why you're so interested in Shay Cormac. Shay has seen the true face of the world, and he has chosen his path accordingly. A similar choice will soon present itself to you. I did not think you'd get this far, <laughs> but you seem to be on the right track. We still can't access the servers in the basement, but there's another one located at the top of the building near Melanie's office. That's your next stop. This office used to belong to a man named Olivier Garneau. He was my predecessor as chief creative officer of Absurgo Entertainment. Otto Berg is a representative from our parent company, Absurgo Industries. He's showing you the true history of the world, just like they showed me. Olivier was kind, he was intelligent and passionate about our work, but a year ago, he caught a glimpse of this truth. They never found his body. This is not the way we normally bring people up to speed on these matters, but you've worked hard and are proving yourself, so... I'm granting you level two security access. The servers on this floor should unlock more of Shay's memories. Francois Macandal saved Baptiste from slavery and inducted him into his so-called brotherhood. Macandal was a vicious mentor, and in his desperate attempt to liberate slaves, he broke his own creed by indiscriminately killing nobles. Misguided as they are, some assassins are honorable. Macandal was not one of them. Thanks to the calculating genius of Madeleine de Lille, the Templars made an example of Macandal by way of public execution in 1758. His pathetic excuse for a brotherhood quickly fell apart. When his comrade and childhood friend Agathe fled to Louisiana, Baptiste saw the futility of his former life in Macandale's brotherhood. Madeleine saw Baptiste's potential and instructed her Templars in New Orleans to strike a deal with him. 
If he could draw Agate out of hiding and eliminate him, he would be granted a place in the Templar Order. Although Baptiste was killed by the assassin Avelin de Grand Pré, his path clearly demonstrates the inherent superiority of Templar ideals over assassin terrorism. I've got your animus ready and waiting. I'm just saying that Violet didn't have to yell at us for not fixing the elevator before she did. Ugh, kill me now. Why? I would, but you were just... Shit! What's happening? Another glitch? Same one as before. Chase back and notch it down. See if you can complete the memory this time. Got it. Shay's in Paris, all right. I even got a date for you. 1776. At this point in time, Franklin was the American ambassador to France. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Otto Berg, professional killer and amateur historian. Culture swine! You could not have left your backwater colony! Ouais, retourne à Boston! In Philadelphia, actually. Oh! So, he's a comedian too! Help! Is that you? Ah, how long has it been? Uh, where are my manners? Thank you, my friend, thank you. But what are you doing in Paris? With all due respect, sir, this is no time to talk. You're still in danger. Yes, I... I must return to my family. Thank you, Shay. Please, wait for me. I just want to make sure my family is safe. Yeah! <laughs> 
you do that? It was quite fortunate. I make my own look, Master Franklin, as I suspect you do. Yes, indeed, my good fellow. Yet, without your assistance today... Hmm. Well, you have my thanks, Shay. Is there anything I can do for you to repay you for this uh, kindness? Actually, there is. I need to meet a business acquaintance. I heard he would be at the Chateau de Versailles two days from now. And they don't just let anyone inside the royal palace. Very well. I'll see what can be arranged. That's the best we can do for now. Keep trying to sequence memories out of order, which is why we're crashing like this. What do you suggest? If we progress further with Shay's life in the colonies, I'm confident we can get better results from these Paris memories. Very well. Keep me informed. Uploading the next memory sequence now.